Okay, we're gonna try this one last time because what I recorded, it's like, sounds like I'm underwater or something. It's all crackly. I'm gonna tur I turn some stuff down. But anyways, we're starting a Subaru project today. So if you're following along, I started to fill you guys in on my shed project out here and I, I jumped the gun on the dirt. So I had some low spots over here and I was like, okay, I'm gonna fill it in and then smooth it all out. Well, there was some puddles over here and I just, I shouldn't, I should have waited till it all dried out because it created a complete mud pit when I went to fill in and smooth everything out. And then the next day it rained and created an entire pool over here. That's why I have all my hoses to, I was siphoning the water out, but I can't build a shed on a mud pit. So that's gonna have to wait until it dries out and for me to fill it in and smooth it out again. But the whole shed project is so I could fit put a pallet of tile in there my bathroom tile now since I can't do that and I want to get the bathroom tile here soon I'm just gonna put the tile in the corner of my garage but I have stuff in this corner like my legacy bumper so I figured today would be a good day to just swap the bumper out and put it on I don't know what I'm gonna have to do if I'm gonna have to do any drilling cutting new holes new bolts or whatever but I've seen it done and I like the look of it because the legacy bumpers have a more flatter face and unlike the Forster bumpers where they kind of like curve back, they, the legacies have like a little more of a flatter face and then like 90 degree, just a little more better of a angle in my opinion. So we're gonna get to this and then I don't know, I don't know what project's gonna be next. I do have to do the long john mud flaps on the truck because that, I washed the truck, drove to town, came back and that's what happened. So I just gotta start doing these projects. I just gotta start doing them, here we go. Well, I did in fact bust a couple of the clips and uh, you know, uh, I just nothing I could do about it. <laughs> I got my, it's funny cause I got my left blinker over here. I busted this bottom clip here, but and that was actually the only thing holding it in because the top screw wasn't even in that. And I busted a couple of the clips on the little trim pieces that go right under the headlights. It is what it is. This is pretty nasty here though. I mean, it is just like algae build up to the max. And I'm gonna clean some of this first and then I'm gonna fit the bumper on. And then hopefully try to figure out how to put it all back together with the broken clips. I got some new clips, but some of those are like on the, the turn signal. That's a stationary clip, but I can't replace that. I gotta replace the whole blinker now. All right, all right, let's clean it up. Here we go. I got one clip in the center that lined up pretty well. These do not line up. I'm just using some zip ties to hold the corners. And you can see here, I am gonna have to do some trimming, but there's there's like this little rivet that was right here that I don't even know if I could find it. It was just a rivet, like a little metal rivet that wasn't doing nothing. And that actually lines up perfectly with the original bumper hole mount, whatever it is right there. So we're gonna screw that in and then basically <coughs> just cut and trim frame to make it like the original wheel well here. So there's nothing down below, which is kind of sucky. I might have to figure that out. But the original bumper actually screwed in and mounted right down here on the subframe. But there's nothing on this bumper that actually reaches that far back. And there's actually no mounts on the bottom of this besides right here. But I don't think there's anything I can mount that to. So I'm gonna put some bolts in the top here. You can see right there, that's the original mounting location. But I'm gonna put a bolt in there, a screw in there. I'm gonna tape this off and I'm just gonna go ahead and chop this with an angle grinder. Come on guy, go in the hole. So you can see, there's a slight little gap, but you know, that's what happens when you mix Subarus. All right, it looks kind of jankety right now, but we're gonna cut it up.
nothing's rubbing, nothing's tugging, and it looks good. I like it already. You can see what I was talking about, where it the flatter face and then cuts back more instead of the, the curve down. I, I don't know how to say that, but I'm gonna take it back off and I'm gonna clean up. This side actually ain't that bad. The other side's pretty bad. <laughs> I messed up a little bit on this side. So I'm gonna clean some of this up and see if I can maybe curl some of the metal just so I don't have a sharp edge there. But let's take it back off, clean it up, throw it back on. We're almost done. I just want to fill you guys in with what I had to do to get this headlight to fit with the trim. There is some more trimming that you will have to do if you're doing this bumper swap. So what I had to do, there's this like black piece of trim on the bumper about right here. I kind of had to taper it down and smooth it out. I'll show you real quick on the other side. It's kind of just like a lip. And so I just smoothed it down halfway across. That way I could get this other trim piece in. I also had to smooth. I grind off a little bit of the backside of the bottom of this trim. And it was still a really snug fit. I was thinking that it was going to be flush with this, but it's not. And so that's a little ugly. If I, if, if I knew, if I had known that that was going to come out, I would have cleaned that up. I'll probably take some sandpaper and try to smooth it out a little more but I'm happy with this. Ain't nobody gonna see that little bit of melted plastic right there. Uh, we gotta do the other side still, and I did use some water JB Weld on this little nipple. It's actually pretty solid, so I'm not gonna wait around for to get a new blinker. I mean, it's, this is just my, my daily driving beater, so just make it look cool, make it fun, and we'll all be happy. Let's do the other side. tell you guys a secret so i bought this car as my my daily more or less my commuter back and forth to seattle when i gotta work and i bought it i pressure washed it at like the car wash downtown and that was it i actually haven't gone through and i pressure washed it once when i first got it and then i pressure washed it a second time when i was home and i was really just trying to get the algae off the roof but i actually haven't washed this car like scrubbed it with soap and water since I have, since I've got it, look at all this. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. Girl, you dirty. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she's finished. 98% of the way. Check it out. Look at that. Just look at that, man. I'm so happy with it. It looks so good. That stock bumper, it looked like a duck bill on here, man. It, it, it like protruded out and then had that hard angle compared to this where it's more of a flat face. I did end up with some more rubbing when I took the bumper off and cleaned up all the edges and I remounted it. I did have some more rubbing that I had to cut off right in here. It probably wouldn't have been a problem if I had the right size tires on here. These tires are, I think they're like an inch and a quarter bigger than what the stock tires are. And I plan on getting some different tires probably this coming year. These tires are still pretty good, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll show you real quick before we end. The These are the fog lights that were on the Legacy bumper. 
they're round not square like the stock forester ones but the mounting locations are different but i believe that these brackets they look like they will actually swap as well so i'm gonna see if i could swap these over onto the round housings and then see if i can mount those up i'm not gonna do that on camera because i'll just do it in my own time some other time i'm not too worried about it but yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the video hit that subscribe button like comment share and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching <laughs> Can I tell you guys a secret? It's the moment of truth. It's the moment of truth. Is she gonna fit? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby.